Why's your bowl got more cheese on it than mine? Here, cheese, cheese, for real. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show. Old Joe and Dave here with me. And in this video, we are gonna be doing some prison cooking. Dave, what exactly are we gonna be cooking here? We've got a lot of things right here in front of us and what are we gonna make? Prison Chipotle. Prison Chipotle is what we are gonna be making. This is gonna be a taco bowl and this is something that you can make in prison. Is that not correct? Absolutely. What are we gonna need to make this? Obviously, we're gonna need some tortilla shells. Which you can buy on commissary. True. And most of these items you can buy on commissary. There are a few items that we do have here that you're gonna need somebody who is in the kitchen, some sort of a kitchen connect, who is stealing things from the kitchen um, for you to be able to get these things. But again, most of these items you can purchase on commissary. The tortilla shells, your cheese, we actually have two different types of cheese here. We've got some shredded Mexican taco cheese here. That sounds a little racist actually. Why's it gotta be Mexican? Why is it not called Hispanic taco cheese? We also have some cheese spread, some salsa, some chili and beans, one single pickle in a bag. We will only need two single ramen noodles for this meal some red beans and rice, jalapenos, some beef little smokies here. Now they do sell these on commissary. These are different from the ones that we've bought out here in the free world. Uh, the ones that we've bought out here in the free world have to be refrigerated. The ones that they sell you in prison, they have to be lockered. They have to be kept in the locker. Yeah, I, it's, it's interesting because you know, you don't really run across a lot of meat in the free world that just doesn't need to be refrigerated. It just makes me wonder, what the hell kind of meat are they selling us in prison that doesn't need to be refrigerated? It only makes you wonder. But again, we have our beef and little smokies here, two Tupperware bowls, a few additional bowls just in case we need it. Now, of course, in prison, you're not going to be getting ceramic bowls like these. But we just don't have that much Tupperware. Well, you remember, you used to be able to order the little yellow bowls and everybody would have like a stack of them for all the sides when they right. were making shit. You could order a bowl just like this in prison and you could, order, you could also order a smaller plastic bowl. And we do have one additional <laughs> Tupperware here. We're going to use this as well. We've got a plate right here to cut things up on. We've got our kitchen connection who came through with the onion and the tomato stuff down their pants. You know, when you see a guy comes back from the kitchen, he's like, hey man, I got some onion and tomato. You need some? Yeah. yeah All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> bong bong. Fresh. Smells like Fomunda cheese. Have you ever heard of Fomunda cheese? Where is it from? Fomunda. <laughs> so we have our onion, our tomato. One other thing, we're gonna need a cutting device that's gonna help us get through this meal. And we have our trusty, rusty, newly fashioned, Prison, God damn it, came untied. Prison shank here. Dave, would you like to hold this? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> okay, so Dave, what is the first thing that we need to do while making this meal? In prison, the rice we get would have to usually sit and cook and swell for what? Couple of minutes. Shit, sometimes ten minutes. Well, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna Takes prepare. We're gonna prepare the noodles and the rice together. Uh, so I think we might. This might. This seems like a lot. We might only need one noodle with the rice. I think it'll be enough to make the two. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna smash this one noodle up. Dave says we only need one because we have a ton of rice here. All right. So let's get to smashing the noodle. Are you trying to tie up our prison shank again? Yeah, I think I got it. Uh, I would definitely watch your fingers on that tip. That's pretty sharp. Where's your sharper to that? On the shower wall, up against a piece of concrete. It's funny, it's the same place most people sh sharpen their tattoo needles at these days. <laughs> Talk about hepatitis. One and a half minutes for the rice. 90 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and get some water because we're gonna need water for our noodles. So Dave, you're gonna go ahead and take care of the onion. Please don't shed any tears while cutting these onions. It's a sad story. I'm gonna do it the way I did it when I when, when we were in prison too. 
You would cut it in half and keep half the onion? Oh yeah, damn right I would. Especially if I was cooking for somebody else, I'm gonna tell them I put the whole onion in there and put the other half in my locker. Oh dang, that is some very shisty stuff. And you know what, a lot of guys will do that. If, if you're cooking a meal with a bunch of guys and you bring everybody brings something to the table, you know, you really want to pay attention if only one person is cooking the meal. Maybe everybody else is out playing cards, watching TV. You may have that one guy who's just cooking the meal by himself. And he will take a lot. And in some cases, this guy may take shortcuts in an effort to try to keep some additional food items for himself. I'm taking it, Dave, you were one of those guys. No, it just always happened to me. I'd be like, there is not that much onion in here, dude. <laughs> well, I put the whole onion in. Yeah. Yeah, guys will definitely run a lot of game when it comes to preparing the meal. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of seasoning on here. I'm not going to put the whole seasoning pack in here because sodium is a big problem while in prison. You definitely want to keep the salt down. What a kitchen hack to have for cutting onion. That's a really good trick right there. I'm going to, we got to zoom this in. We got to see exactly what you're doing right here, Dave. So Dave, talk about how you're cutting this onion. Well, I'm cutting it in like little little checkerboard. I'll cut across it all the way a bunch of times and then I'll come back and go the opposite way. That's a really sharp prison shank. I mean, you should see the wall in the bathroom. I was in there for hours. So what's the benefit of cutting the onion the way that you're cutting it? Well, it just, once I do this part, The onion, the onion is already diced. Yeah, already diced. All right, so I've heated up the water for our ramen noodles. We're gonna go ahead and get those swelling up right now. We don't want a lot of water in here, just enough to cook these noodles uh, with no additional water left in the bowl. We may need a little bit more water than that. I don't even think Gordon Ramsay's cutting up his vegetables uh, this way. Or is he? Maybe he is, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and nuke this just for like a minute. Looks like we got enough tomato right there, Dave. We're going to do the same thing with the pickle. We should go ahead and get the pickle cut up. Now, we're going to keep the pickle juice. That way we can add that with our cheese and we can make a nice cheese spread. a little spread. jalapeno yeah. splash. All right, so you go ahead and get the pickle right there. We need to also go ahead and get our tortillas prepared as well. When making a taco bowl, the object is, is you want the tortilla to be crunchy, right? Oh yeah, when you're doing this. We gotta poke holes in the tortilla. Well, yeah, you gotta stab it up. You might wanna grab a plate, you can lay it down, poke a bunch of holes in it. Yeah, you remember. There we go, now those noodles are cooking. Nice and hot. Take it, sit it on the bowl like that. Right. All right, now we're gonna go in the microwave. Now we don't need much time at all. No, you gotta, you gotta watch it. It's gonna start. Yeah. Oh yeah, we don't have a turntable in there. Yeah, we, we turn the turntable off for more authenticity. It's starting to sink. Yep. Bang. Now we're gonna go ahead and shape it to the bowl, and then we're gonna we're gonna cook it some more. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the second one. So we're going to poke more holes in it once we've got it in the bowl. Well, you don't want it to um, blow up on the bottom. So we're only cooking it for a couple of seconds at a time, continuing to turn the bowl because we want to make sure this thing cooks all the way around. And this thing's going to get really crunchy, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the guy, they'd be at the, the microwave, the pop, pop, just constantly stopping and spinning the... Absolutely. You want it to cook as evenly as possible. You don't want to melt the bowl. You know what I'm saying? There's so many variables of things that could happen while you're doing this. I just always thought this was like one of the coolest things. Oh yeah, and it's a great prison meal to be able to know how to make. When you can make a wide variety of meals with the bare minimal items that you have at your disposal, it really does help to make things a little better for you while you're on the inside. We got us a tortilla chip now, or a taco bowl base. You can tell it's definitely crispy. 
Okay, so that one is done. We need to do the same thing with this. Dave has already cut up the vegetables and the pickle right here. Uh, is pickle a vegetable? I'm pretty sure it is. I think so. So we got pickle, tomato, and onion right here. Looks very pretty right here for our taco bowl. Do we gonna, we're going to go ahead and do this one the same way? Absolutely. So Dave, if you'll go ahead and prepare the, the uh, taco bowl base, getting that tortilla ready again. I guess I'll go ahead and start to cut up the little smoky sausages right here. These little smoky sausages, they look strange. All right, so we're getting a little miniatures cut up here. Bon. It's a lot of bon. Bon. You think it's enough? I mean, how, how much meat do you like in your bowl? Things you do not say in prison. Excuse me, um, how much meat would you like in your bowl? So we're putting our red beans and rice in with our noodle. We're gonna go ahead and mix that up together. So after you cook the chili, I'll go ahead and cook the sausages. The sausages. The sausages. While Dave's heating up the chili and beans, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the cheese. I'm gonna take me a big old glob of this cheese right here. And I'm gonna add the pickle juice to it. Cheese and pickle juice. And you know, it gives the cheese a better flavor too. It actually does. Some people didn't like it. Oh yeah, there's a, you'll, you'll cook with guys and they'll be like, hey, can you not put this and this and this and this on my meal? And I'm like, it's gonna make you a butt naked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you even trying to eat with us? I don't understand. If you, if you don't want any of this stuff on your meal, it sounds like you don't want anything at all. <laughs> And what Dave just said right there, go eat a butt naked, that means one single ramen noodle holds everything else. How would the chili come in prison? Uh, in a bag. In a bag. Just like most everything else would. And it was funny, right? Like, all the other things cost more. The chili was actually one of the cheaper pouches, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I think chili, a chili pouch was about $1.50. And then the other ones were like 2 to $3. There was some pouches that were 4 like that, uh... The chicken breast one? Oh, the chicken breast was by far the most expensive thing meal-wise on the commissary. How big was the chicken breast? Uh, it was small. It was only about that big. I'm going to go ahead and nuke our sausages right now. So when cooking your sausage in prison, one of the most important things to do is absolutely nuke it. You want to fry this to the fullest. It gets the grease out of it. Now, I'm not really sure what the point of actually getting the grease out of it is because you're just going to dump it right back in your meal. Yeah, I think it just gives the meat like a cooked taste yeah because again this is meat that doesn't need to be refrigerated it's pasteurized meat uh is that what it's called pasteurized or processed 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 meat and basically you could just open this thing up and eat the whole sausage uh for what it is all right so dave i'm gonna let you go ahead and put these meals together and what i'm gonna do is uh we're gonna sit here and watch how you concoct these things not everybody would do this but i put a little cheese at the bottom of these things kind of kind of spread it around a little bit it's not easy to spread cheese with a fork. So we're just gonna put some cheese on the bottom of these things right here like so. We need our base here. We can make these, you can pull them out and eat them like a freaking cookie. It would be a messy cookie though, Dave. It's all right, I love messy things. What? A little bit of onion. So you're putting a layer of tomato, pickle, and onion, and we're gonna have another layer of that on the very top. On the very top. Yep. Put a little bit of cheese. Have you ever been to Chipotle, Dave? Um, I think I went one time. I would just like to know what this meal would be called at, at Chipotle. I know Chipotle, I've only been there a few times myself. Well, maybe it's just called a Taco Bowl. But we're calling this Prison Chipotle. It's one of the more extravagant meals when you're in prison. This isn't something everybody's making every day. Because it is a little pricey. Yeah, definitely is that. Put a couple jalapenos on here. You like jalapenos, don't you, Joe? I love them. So now you're putting the chili beans on? Yeah, putting a little bit of chili in here, right on top. Drain some of this grease in here just to give it a little bit of a flavor. Yeah, we, we want maximum flavor. When it comes to spreading the meat, I don't know how many times I've been making something and guy will walk up and be like, yo, dude, you put way more meat on your bowl than you put on my bowl. And that's when you got to be like, well, fuck, dude. Here, take this one. You know what I'm saying? Just people get kind of petty. 
I guess. Is well, prison is prison is most certainly a very very petty place. All right, so this is where we get to kind of dress it up a little more. We're gonna oh, we're gonna go with some more of these toppings here. Now you can put the cheese on at this point, or you can put these toppings on. I mean, there's really no rhyme or reason to this. So we're gonna go ahead and get the cheese spread on here now. Why's your bowl got more cheese on it than mine? Here, cheese, cheese. For real? Can't never have enough salsa. Salsa is really good for these things. This is the fun part. I like this. We're just gonna go ahead and cheese these things right up. That is a lot of cheese. Make her look fancy, Dave. So you ready to break into this thing, Dave, and see what this, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me get half of that. You got it, boss. <laughs> you got it. Never argue with a man in prison who has a knife. Let's go ahead and bust into this thing. Mine's pretty good. It's a little, it's a little cold. We probably could have went in, back into the microwave. This shit's smoking. Prison Chipotle. You know, to be honest, we've been eating a lot of prison meals lately. But this one right here, a prison taco bowl, probably one of the best meals you can make while in prison. Yeah, see, the reason why this one is a little bit, this isn't one of those crush up everything and make something. You take your time with this. You want to really dress this up. Before we wrap this video up, I'd just like to say RIP in peace to my stomach after this meal has been eaten. Uh, what do you think? Gut buster for sure. For sure. Hey, look, I hope you enjoyed this video and this prison chipotle. I got to promise you, this is a really awesome meal to make. A super fancy and sort of high dollar meal while locked up. But this is probably one of the best meals, again, that you can make while incarcerated. Special thanks to Dave for helping put this thing together. You really dressed this thing up. You are absolutely destroying this. I mean, look, Dave's meal. Dave, <laughs> this thing's almost gone. I mean, it, it didn't stand a chance. After that first bite, I was like, oh my God. Dave, thank you again, man, for all your help with this. Oh, yeah. As always, until next time. Oh, wait, that's that extremely long handshake right there that people keep commenting about. <laughs> <laughs> As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. Of every... <laughs> Of every day? Is that what you said? <laughs> Make the most of every day? I tried to shoot that in there. You didn't catch that. I didn't. I was hoping you wouldn't catch that. And make the most of every day.